Hi, this is Nikhil Asija, and this week I'm talking to Trip Parker about the Outlook client experience in CRM 2011. So Trip, we've made significant enhancements in the CRM client for Outlook, and everyone who sees it almost falls in love with it. Can you tell us more about what has gone in? What are the features that we are bringing about? Yeah, Nikhil. So in CRM 2011, what we wanted to do was show you CRM information and data and features in an Outlook-like way. So not just you know take a CRM form and show it to you in Outlook. We wanted to show it to you in an Outlook way that you would understand if you're an Outlook user. So one example of this would be something like the Outlook reading pane. You have it for emails. Why can't you have it for accounts? We give you that in CRM 2011. Another example would be something like email inspectors or email forms. So if you're sending an email to somebody, you don't have to choose between using the CRM web email form to use, for instance, CRM templates. You can use those CRM templates in Outlook client and have all the richness of Outlook, like spell check and um, pictures in your email and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to choose between them in CRM 2011. We have a ton of features, Outlook Social Connector, categories, follow-ups, all this stems from our commitment to showing you CRM information in an Outlook-like way. Okay, I have to ask this. I'm really excited about conditional formatting. Can you comment a bit on that? Sure. So, conditional formatting is a really good example of what I just talked about. By showing you CRM data in an Outlook way, Outlook gives us a bunch of things almost for free. Conditional formatting is one of those. So for instance, if you want to take hot leads and you wanted them to show up red in your CRM grid, you can add a con conditional formatting rule to say it's all hot leads, show them as red in the grid. And that way it will draw attention to the things that you care about in CRM. But it's hard to imagine what we do next with the Outlook client without spilling the beans too much. Is there any thing you can tell us about what should the users expect, what is coming next? So the great thing about working inside Outlook is that we benefit from all the innovation of the Outlook team as well as the CRM team. So in the future, if you ask what are we going to do next, the question is really what is Outlook going to do next and how are we going to work with it? So we're going to benefit from all the stuff that Outlook's going to do in the future and future versions of Outlook. But for now, you can think about other things like adding rules for tracking emails and those kind of things, just like you would add a rule to move an email from one folder to the next. You can look at us to, you can look for us to start doing stuff like that in the future. Would you like to share any tips or tricks with our users? Any hidden features that might not be apparently obvious, but are really, really cool? Yeah, actually, so one really cool feature is to be able to add Outlook follow-ups to things like accounts, leads, and opportunities directly within Outlook. You click on the flag, it shows up in your to-do bar, and that's great. But actually, if you're a heavy task user, you can go to the task folder, scroll through your tasks. So if you send, a, you created a follow-up on an email, in the task reading pane, you'll see that email. If you keep scrolling down, say I added it to an email from a person, but then I also added it directly to the opportunity, I'll actually see that opportunity in the, gr in the actual um, task reading pane. I don't have to flip folders back and forth. So Trip, what's your favorite feature in the new Outlook client? When everyone thinks about the Outlook client, they always think about track and CRM. So my favorite feature is and forever will be track and CRM. We've added, actually added in the ability for you to auto-create leads and contacts from the people that send you the email. So if someone sends me the email and they're not in CRM, as soon as I click track, I can have them created automatically. And that keeps my emails always related to another entity in CRM without me really having to do anything. So Trip, how about showing us all these exciting features in a demo now? Absolutely. Let's go do that. The first thing everyone thinks about when they think about the CRM Outlook client is track and CRM. So I'm going to show you that. I'm in my inbox here and I've selected an email. And I can see here at the bottom some information about the CRM, about this item as it relates to CRM. So I see it's regarding nothing. This email is not currently being tracked in CRM. So it's letting me know, okay, this is not a tracked email and it's not regarding anything yet in CRM. See your options. If I go to options, I can see, oh, look, here's a new option in CRM 2011. I can auto create contacts or leads based on the sender of the tracked email or the organizer of the tracked meeting. So I don't have to manually do that anymore. I don't have to open up a CRM form and you know enter the information or I don't have to you know 
track the email and then resolve it to something. It just works for me. And this obviously only happens if this, uh, this contact or lead isn't in CRM yet. So I said, okay, that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and track. And notice here it's letting me know this email is being tracked. And look, the related record is this guy. Um, so basically, I don't have to um, manually create them anymore. Once I click track, it's already in CRM. I can also do other things like convert to an opportunity case lead, all that kind of stuff. Um, we have the CRM contextual information right here in my inbox that I can open up and create a new email, phone call, appointment, that kind of thing. But say I just wanted to reply to this email. We've actually integrated natively even further into the Outlook rich inspectors. So here we see this email will be tracked in CRM after it's sent. It's still not regarding anything because I haven't selected it to be regarding anything. But I also have other options up here. I can insert an email template, an article, or sales literature. These are CRM objects that I can actually attach and put in my Outlook email um, just because you've integrated CRM and Outlook. So say I wanted to attach an article from the server like Break Basics. It actually puts it in my Outlook email. I get all the formatting and everything else, and then I get all the native Outlook stuff that I normally do, like spell check. So let's move on into the actual CRM folders. So right now we're looking at active accounts. Notice that we have the view drop down, you have all that. I can open up my active accounts, I can pin the ones that I like, get rid of the ones that I don't. But right now I want to look at active accounts. So notice this is giving me a very Outlook looking grid. I'm interacting with the data in a way I would with Outlook. I have categories, I have follow ups over here and everything else. So if I select I want to add a follow up to affordable sports equipment. I open up my to do bar and affordable sports equipment shows up in my tasks. I can double click that and it opens up that item in CRM. I can also do other things really deep integration with Outlook like conditional formatting. So let's add a conditional formatting rule. Say I wanted to add a conditional formatting rule for Western territories. I'll change the font to be 10, bold, and maroon. And say, okay, so what's the condition that I want to define? We'll go here and we'll say, territory contains Western. Okay, okay, okay. Notice that now all the items that I have that are Western territory are now showing up 10 um, size font bold and red, just like I did. And so you can see how powerful this would be if I want to draw attention to say accounts with revenue over a million dollars or hot leads. I can draw attention to the things that I really care about in my Outlook without doing anything on the CRM server. I can just add them and so that way I it works like Outlook, but it's CRM. And the power of this is that if you know how to use Outlook, if you're comfortable with it, you've already said, um, you've already defined CRM categories, you don't have to learn how to use CRM, you just know how to use Outlook. So if I want to arrange by category because I have Outlook categories and I've tagged my CRM data with those categories, I get to see. So I say, okay, these are the ones that haven't been categorized. If I minimize that, now I can see, okay, CRM category, green category, purple, red, whatever I want to do, it just works in Outlook. So. There's, there's more things that you can do in Outlook though, is like the reading pane. This is an, a completely new integration in Serum 2011. By selecting the items, I get to see what is that data in CRM in an Outlook-like way. So just like emails have their reading pane, contacts have theirs, all CRM objects, accounts, opportunities, leads, cases, they all have an Outlook reading pane now. And I can do things like drag and drop the sections and move them around. If I want company information to show up above address, I can do that. And this is me as a user. This is personalization. So I can add categories, follow-ups, rearrange the reading pane however I want it. And I don't need permission from an administrator. I don't need to customize the system. It's as easy as just dragging and dropping. Um, to further um, illustrate this, say I wanted to just get rid of main phone. I don't want it there. It's just drag and drop. I just get rid of it just like Outlook. So basically, I guess what we're trying to get to in CRM 2011 is that 
it really is full integration. It's not just showing CRM data inside Outlook. Anyone can do that. And even previous versions of the CRM client did that. What we're trying to do is show it to you in an Outlook-like way, in a personalized way that makes sense to you so you don't have to change your habits. You don't have to change the way you work in order to get your job done. And I think that really is the power of the Outlook client. Thanks, Trip. Yeah, no problem. Our users are going to love these new features in the CRM 2011 Outlook client. It's going to make it even easier for them to use. Until next time, thank you.